the actual story. So we've mentioned it before. Why is the league playing games in London? Why are they playing in Germany? Do they want to move a team there? My answer has always been yes. They want to move a team there. Turns out it's not moving a team there. It's expanding a team there. AJ Perez of frontofficesports.com uh, reporting that even though Roger Goodell actually brought up the idea of a four-team European division last season, it was talked about at the owners' meetings that happened this week. Here's a quote from uh, an owner. As journalism works, Perez did not tell you which owner, but an owner said this. We don't know if it's going to happen in two years, five years, or whenever, but there's going to be an international division. Division. Multiple teams. Four teams. But it might even be more than that. Reading from Mike Florio, for years, the NFL has dangled the possibility of putting a team in London with two nfl ready stadiums, Wembley and Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, famously without trophies, as Haydad likes to remind people. Thank you, yes. London could take the two teams immediately. Two other teams would, under this scenario, be placed elsewhere on the continent with one or both presumably in Germany. Here's a quote. This is from uh, Peter O'Reilly, who is the executive VP of Business and International and League Events for the NFL. I think what we are focused on is building capacity, so if there were that opportunity, whether a club wanted to consider relocation or looking at expansion, we are in that mode. In London, where we've been for a long time, and now in Germany, we're making sure that we've got the stadium partners and government partners, which is an important thing for taxes and visas and whatnot, and the fan support to sustain that possibility. Makes more sense, of course, to have more European teams than just one because of travel and stuff like that. It's a bit of a haul uh, to get over there. But apparently it's been deeper than that. That expansion is something that they are deeply considering. Not moving teams again, expanding teams to take the league from 32 to 36, 38. They've even talked about having 40 teams in the NFL as a possibility moving forward, which would mean expansion in Europe and also here domestically as well. But the momentum for having a full-on four-team division in Europe apparently is taking steam and they fill up those games, man. People go. Like, they care over there I about it. I think they fill them up because – no, I think they fill them up because it's a novelty. Because it's just, okay, once a year we're going to take the kids and go. Those people care about their their soccer teams, their football teams. And I'm just telling you right now that if if if, if Tottenham Hotspur fans have to make a – if North London people have to make a choice between Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal or the London Monarchs – They're going to pick soccer. They're going to pick for the Premier League every single time because the same thing would happen here. If if the Premier League decided, hey, we're going to put five teams in America and we're going to go head-to-head with the NFL, guess what's going to happen? They're going to lose. So I I just, I don't see it, man. You don't don't think there's the market? I could be wrong. And look, there's the the NFL. I'm sure that I'm the wrong one. I'll, I'll wear it when it happens, but. I mean, for me, the, the soccer is such an ingrained part of the culture of their, you know, f- the, full, the whole football pyramid and the, and the way every little town has its own pro soccer team. I, I don't see, like I said, if, if Tottenham is on TV and the NFL is on TV, Tottenham's winning. And if Tottenham is playing away, their fans are going to go to that game. They're not going. They're not going. They're not going to go to the uh, the NFL game. I, I just don't. I just don't. I just don't see it. That would mean, by the way, that we would have morning football every Sunday mm-hmm. here in the yeah. States. That might be what their angle is more so than like owning Europe is if they find that there's enough interest there that not only can they add more games, which means more money, they can add another time slot. Yeah. That might That might be their angle really is more inventory, which means more money. And if it will do well enough over there, it doesn't have to be number one, but if it'll do well enough, and instead of talking about Eastern time, one, four, and seven, it's nine, one, four, and seven, which just simply means more money, bigger TV contracts, more games, more money, more money, more money at the end of the day. 
Maybe that's what they're looking at. If it's viable enough over there to survive, you know, you know that people in the States would watch morning football every Sunday. Absolutely, they would. Oh, yeah. Here in America, for sure. Would that hurt the league? Would expansion hurt? That, see, that's my question is the NFL is so good because it's so exclusive, right? And every single team, even the worst teams, have great players on it. If you start adding teams, it means the talent pool starts getting spread around, right? Would that ultimately start damaging the product enough, even if it's just four teams, four more, or eight more? But that's if it's four teams, that's 250 additional players needed. And are there 250 good enough players to be starters in the NFL that currently aren't starters in the NFL? Would that water down the product? Yeah. That's a good question. I mean, you got to, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. You know, I feel like it would. I also feel like it's going to water down the product in terms of the teams that are coming back from the international trips are are going to be at a disadvantage every week. You have to give them a buy after that. that. Like, that's the only way you can do it. Yeah, but how are you going to do that if you got four teams and you're always playing games over there? And then the teams that are the international teams, I mean, because you've got a four-team division, right? That's right. 13 games where they cross the Atlantic. That's well, 13 you, you play times everybody in your to... division twice. Okay, so it's nine games. But then some people would also come to but your right, place. No, it's not even nine. It's not, it's not, it's not nine. It's, okay, hold on. Whatever. It's a bunch of trips. Yes. So 17 games. Yeah. 17 games. You're going to have to convince people. You're going to have to convince Americans to live in England. Yeah. To live in Germany. Maybe live in Spain. Which, I mean, these are cool places to live. They're cool places to visit. I don't know if they're a cool place to live. So. They would have to do it like that. So, yeah. they're they're In your division, you would play six games in Europe. So, that wouldn't bother you with travel and stuff. So, that would be fine. And then the other 11 games... Four, or excuse me, five of which would be also in your place. So you'd only have you'd have to travel six or five times across the Atlantic in a given year. That's still a lot, though. And so what they would have to do is you would have to play multiple games across the Atlantic on either side. So it wouldn't just be fly over for one game, fly home. It would be fly over for two games, fly home, and have a bye week. That would be the way they would have to work that out because yeah, the jet lag is too out. crazy. Like you couldn't have the Rams play in London on Sunday and then turn around and play on Thursday night. That that, that would be an impossibility. You can't have that happen. Right. Because what's that, like a 13-hour flight from L.A. to London? Something like that. Maybe even longer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's got to be longer from L.A. And then you've got to adjust to the time. It's not just flying. It's also... You know, instead of waking up at 7 a.m., you're waking up at 3, or no, even earlier, right? I think I'm like, wrong. A, non, a nonstop flight, which it would be because it would be chartered, 10 hours and 25 minutes. Wow. But that, that, that cha- that's, that's hard. Yeah. That's, uh, that's really hard. I wonder if you do like a noon kickoff because, I mean, a noon kickoff in England is a 6 a.m. kickoff here. Yeah. So, I I know this because... I get up at 6 a.m. sometimes to watch Chelsea. So if your game day routine requires you to wake up at 6 a.m. for a noon game, it means you're waking mm-hmm. up at midnight or not going yeah. to bed. I, but you have to. You have to sleep before games. Blows the whole thing up. Yeah. yeah. So you'd have this, to be this, there this, for this days. Is a tough, tough idea. Yeah. If they find they can make money, though. <laughs> if, they, if they find that it'll make them rich, they'll do it because that's just kind of how it goes. Dwayne says, Borky, you always say follow the money. That's why they're looking at it. No doubt. It's money and money only. Rusty says, how would four teams get 17 games? They would be a division of the NFL. They, they would be a division in, in, in this league. So they would have to – the Saints would play Berlin. The Berlin Bronco. No, can't be the Broncos. The Berlin Bearcats yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I don't remember what they were back in the old World League of American football days. 
I know it was the London Monarchs. The Barcelona Dragons. Ugh. Oh, I don't I don't remember what the uh the German team was. Nah, I don't remember. Six year one eight seven nine forty three ninety five. A ton of your texts have come in. We'll on the possibility of the NFL adding a whole division in London, apparently it was talked about at the owners' meeting this week where one NFL owner said it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. They're going to be putting teams across the pond. Some more of your messages. I grew up in the UK. My family lives there. Hey, that is right. The NFL is a novelty. People bleed their soccer team's colors. Nobody's wearing an NFL jersey except the one or the one day a year an NFL game is played over there. They don't care mike in oxford says they will stay for a few weeks kevin says i gotta know more about this person though hold on i gotta ask who his team is yeah you guys bond over over chelsea and tottenham's lack of winning kevin this is what i'm talking about so you're gonna add 240 xfl players to the league yeah you're you're gonna thin the herd a little bit and that might you're going to have guys that are backup quality or, or special teams or practice squad quality that are going to be on act starters. And look, the XFL isn't – I know football purists love it. It's not as good. Why is it not as good? Because the players aren't as good. You going to do that to the NFL? I don't know. Mike says, uh, different Mike says, it all sounds like a terrible idea. Bobby in Baseville says, it's not just the jet lag. The time difference adjustment happening that often really sucks. Jeff in Oxford says, I know the leagues aren't the same, but the Brits wouldn't watch LA versus Dallas of the EPL. That is true. But it, the quality it's is true. I mean, and that's the thing. Like, we've been sending them crap games. Yeah. Like, we're always sending them the Jaguars. We sent them the, the Dolphins when they were really bad. Send them some bad Saints teams. Like, we have not sent, you know, uh, Cowboys first. You notice the Cowboys have not been to, to, to England. Notice that uh, the Packers, I don't believe, have been. I think Rodgers played you know? over there. I think he did. Did I don't know. I think so. I have to look. But, I mean, I know the Cowboys haven't been. They haven't sent America's team to England. Oh, no. I don't so, think that a team with a winning record has played there yet. Exactly. So it's like we keep sending them this crap, you know, and now we're going to create expansion teams, which are, I mean, almost guaranteed in the first few years of their existence to only win four or five games. And we're going to and you've got you've already got a sport there. I just don't I just don't see it, man. Jay, I see your message. I appreciate you. I don't think I can read that on the air, but just know it's funny. (laughs) I appreciate you listening. And I think, Jay, you were the one that I met at the uh, hunting and fishing expo. If that is the case, appreciate you listening, and it was good to meet you. I think it was Jay in the res. So, appreciate you, Jay. Can't read that on the air, though. Um, another message. Sunday morning NFL. I'm sure churches will hate that. Yeah, that. if there's a church lobby, I assume there is. If there is one, they're probably going to be going up to the NFL offices in New York and begging them not to do this. <laughs> I, I hate to tell my church. Uh, but you guys would not see me in the fall. <laughs> it wouldn't happen. Yeah. Uh, Uh-oh. Saints are at 9 a.m.? That's, that's that. Not going. And this is, the, you know, you mentioned, like, bringing the extra players, but, like, from the 662, there's not enough good quarterbacks now. Not every no. team has a good quarterback, and we're going to get, I mean, who are the four best quarterbacks in the XFL? That's who we're going to bring in. A.J. McCarron. Finally, Chad Kelly's time has come. Is he? I thought he was in Canada. I have no idea. I thought he, he forced out an incumbent starter for the Alouettes or something, and, and he's going to take over now. Helped him win a Grey I, Cup again, or something. Do not, I don't watch do Canadian football. The the head start that they give wide receivers bothers me. I, I, don't, I don't like that. And the field goal post being in front of the end zone also bothers me. Can't throw passes over the middle in the end zone. What? Let, let's remove half of well, I the thought space. thought it used to be back in the... Uh... Back in the day, yeah, when the forward yeah, the, the, pass the was in the front, a, 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 yeah. a chest pass, an actual chest pass, yeah. Those Dr Pepper games would have been accurate back then. Yeah, that would have. Uh, Berlin Fire, by the way, was the team name. Yeah, that was one. Yeah, and the Frankfurt Galaxy. They had a cool helmet, like it had like the, the like a Milky Way on it. Those uniforms back then, super underrated.
for the uh, for the world yeah. the World League of American Football. I watched that. I enjoyed the World League of American Football. It's like it was unique. They were playing it overseas, but I, it wasn't the NFL. Yeah, it was it was something else. So not enough good quarterbacks now. Message says. Yeah. Brian says I see nothing to gain adding English teams. The soccer is too important. Why would we export one of the last truly American things we have? I hear you. Bobby says they would have the best kickers in the league, though. <laughs> I don't know about that. We but. get one message. Uh, you joke, but Ta'amu is good. Yeah, Jordan Ta'amu's Ta- having success at the at the at that that second level there. Yeah. I really like Jordan Tomu. Uh, I, I had a chance to sit down and interview him a few years ago. He, he was excellent. Um, but but Jordan Tomu is kind of exactly who I'm talking about. He was a he was a very good college quarterback, and and he's good at the XFL level. There's a reason he's not starting in the NFL though. You know, the the, the more guys like him that are playing quarterback in the league, the worse the product is going to get. 